make of Street Pass Princeton here to play more Pokemon X and Y. So, uh, so now we will be uh, checking out some of my battles, regular battles. So this is me with Chris, and I should warn you, in this battle, Chris gives me lots and lots of pity. I made a pretty good decision in the beginning, and then I screwed it over by not doing a certain move. You'll see what happens when we start. So anyway, let's go going. So, it's me versus Chris, and I'm using, again, Abdallah's team, because that's all I have right now. That's good. So I sent out Delphox, anticipating Ferrothorn, but I'm thinking he's going to get scared and switch. So I thought, oh, go for Solar Beam, but that was probably a bad move. Because watch, now he'll do he'll do Stealth Rock. So this is what happens. I go for this. And then I steal Ferrothorn's uh, leftovers. And then he's like, well, I got my rocks up. And I was like, damn it! Why didn't I use Mystical Fire when I had the chance? And he withdraws Ferrothorn. And this is when I should have done Switcheroo against Chainsaw. Because I could have taken away Chainsaw's... Um, like, Evolution Stone, it's Mega Stone. So I go for Mystical Fire, because I thought it wouldn't change. And at this point, I'm kind of screwed. So now it evolves into Mega Gyarados, which is not looking good. So he goes for Mold Breaker, uh, because that's its ability, and I can't use Switcheroo, and I'm kind of screwed here. At this point... Delphox is, is lunch meat. It's dead. Um, there's not much I can do. And Chainsaw goes for Earthquake. Dead. Delphox is gone. Oh well, Delphox. So I'm like, oh god, Chris, give me pity. Give me pity, Chris. So I'm like, okay, Gengar. That should do good, right? So, nope. Gengar is slower than Gyarados. And Gar Gengar's out in one hit. I'm like, Chris! Chris, please give me some pity. I'm I'm totally stinking right now. So I'm going with Gudra thinking, okay, maybe Thunderbolt? And he knows it's Assault Best, so he goes for Ice Fang again. And, yeah, Gudra's dead. Gudra is so gone. And I'm like, Chris, just give me pity here. Massive amounts of pity was given here. Uh, I go for Mandibuzz at this point, and I'm still begging for pity. Just because I didn't want him to, like, one, one me... I really shouldn't have begged for Kitty. I should have just let him, let, uh, just, uh, well, I should have just learned from my mistake, but I didn't. So I get the leftovers from, from Mandibuzz, and, uh, Chainsaw goes for Waterfall. Mandibuzz is, is dead. Or close to it. Close. Yeah, I go for another Brave Bird. So that does some more damage, but Chainsaw... Yeah, Chainsaw's gonna go for Ice Fang at this point. I'm anticipating Ice Fang. And Ice Fang... Yeah, looks like Mandibuzz is out. Oh well, Mandibuzz. So, anyway, Breloom is, uh, is in the, in the fray. So I'm like, Chris, let me pull off, like, two swords dances. And then mock punch you, and let's see if I can, like, make a comeback. And that's the joke here. So, Breloom goes for Swords Dance. So, I go for another Swords Dance, and he goes for Dragon Dance once again. So, yeah, I go for Swords Dance. And at this point, I know that Gyarados is water dark, so I go for Mock Punch. And Chris did not know that, and he learned something new. Gyarados, Mega Gyarados is a water dark type, just so you know. Anyway, so Porygon 2, and I'm like, okay, I can probably beat this. I mean, what does Porygon 2 have? Like, uh, what's it called? Uh, it's a normal type, so Mock Punch, I think, will make me... So, but it hangs on by the skin of its teeth. Ice Beam hit, and Breloom stays on by the skin of its teeth. So, Mock Punch hits. And Breloom is gone. So now he's going to be left by using Conkeldur. So I go for Mock Punch once again. 
but he goes for detect. I should have gone for sword dance. And I did not. Because if I gone for that sword dance, who knows how much damage I could have gotten to that conk. Anyway, Mock Punch does decent damage. And Breloom is out. So, the poison will slowly sap away on Conkledur. I go for Suicune. I should have gone for Calm Mind here. But I end up going for... I believe I go for Rest. He goes for Mock Punch. Does good damage. I go for Rest, unfortunately. And that means that... I will be fully healed when I take on his Ferrothorn, but still kind of not that great when you think about it. Because Ferrothorn is Grass Steel. Okay, so... At this point he sends out Ferrothorn, and I'm like, okay, well, it's pretty much GG at this point. But for fun, I'll go for Calm Mind. And I'm able to up my defenses and attack. He goes for Power Whip, which does really good damage. Uh, hang in there. I go for Rest again. And pretty much just delaying the inevitable. I'm gonna lose at this point. So, I'm just like, I'm just gonna have fun. Whatever. So, Ferrothorn, another Power Whip. And Suicune is pretty much dead at this point. I go for Sleep Talk. And let's see what I do here. I go for Scald, but even then, it's probably not going to do much damage. Burns it, but I'm dead at this point. It doesn't matter. Power Whip kills me, and that's pretty much the end of this battle. Yeah, there was a lot of things I could have done to probably do much better here. If I probably did a double sword, another sword dance with Conkledur, I could have at least had... Suicune go against uh, Landorus and Gengar, and maybe pull in a clinch victory. But again, I made a, I, I did way too much over predicting. And in Pokemon, you have to really not over predict. Just remember that. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you all so much for watching. Please like this video, leave a comment below, and do not forget to subscribe. Check us out on Facebook, Google Plus, and Twitter. Next events are the anniversary event, and we also have. Uh, Mario Golf, and we have Kid Icarus Uprising. Anyway, guys, Nick of Street Breath, for instance, signing out. Thank you guys so much for watching, and see you later. Bye!